Focus. Is his name Focus? Anyways, y'all hear the music. Y'all know what time it is. But if you didn't know, Bleach is coming back next year, 2021. I'm actually in an art block right now, but I'm too excited. I'm too hyped, so I'm gonna snap out of it right now because what better way than to celebrate than to teach y'all how to draw Taite Kubo's Bleach. So enough talking, let's get right into it. Bankai. Okay, before we get started, I wanted to go over the little details Kubo tends to use all the time in his work. Starting with the eyes. This is almost like a three-step process. First, you want to draw the brow, and once you do that, you'll notice a little space for the eyebrow. Draw that in, and directly below, you'll draw the eye, and you'll notice you've already completed the eyelid without realizing. This process becomes more and more natural and fluid the more you practice it. Keep in mind, male eyes tend to be a bit more sharper, but it's not totally reserved to them. Lukia actually has sharp eyes, but hers are a bit more larger. But the male character's eyes are usually a bit more smaller than the female character's. So for the female eyes, the whole process is the same except a little bit more subtle. And like I said, their eyes tend to be a bit more larger. They tend to be a bit more rounder. But yeah, everything is the same. Just keep in mind those little details. Oh, and sometimes Kubo will also emphasize facial expressions in the eye when a character is angered or frustrated. And every time he shades, he usually will always emphasize it by drawing these little lines over the area he wants to shade. For the noses, there's not really much to explain. It's fairly simple. They're usually high up and sometimes it really depends but a lot of the times the nose may be looked at as a little long and take up a lot of the character's face. One key factor Kubo tends to do a lot with his noses and from what I notice it depends on the angle and how far the character is away. Whether it's a close up shot or a full body one, he'll shade one side of the nose. Mouths are fairly simple as well. Almost always the mouth will start off in a slight curved slope shape, almost like a frown. Whether your character is neutral or smiling, the mouth will usually start off in that frown shape and then curve into the smile. The same goes for the side view angles. And Kubo will always draw a line above the mouth to show the upper lip. A lot of the times he won't even draw the bottom lip unless he wants to show a close up emphasizing a certain emotion or emphasizing that that character has really pronounced lips. Okay, so first things first, we're going to be drawing the outline of the image to figure out what kind of pose we want to do. And remember when I said I was going through an art block? Yeah, that immediately snapped right when I started this. So usually after I sketch out the outline, I'll pick another color and sketch out the design. But I completely forgot, so I just went straight into black ink. You don't have to do that, but that's just what I did and it still worked out fine. And I just drew the face and when looking at male bleach characters, a lot of the times they tend to have sharper eyes, sharper features in general. Especially the hands. And I'm drawing my guy with longer hair because right now I haven't got a haircut in two months. And it's not this long yet, but by the time this quarantine ends, it might as well be. The Shihaku Show, which is the Soul Reaper slash Shinigami attire, was kind of actually difficult to draw at first. Mainly because it's an article of clothing that doesn't actually conform to your body. It's a little flowy, it's a little baggy. So if you're having trouble as well, I recommend looking up references. Oh, and by the way, hands are still the most difficult thing for me to draw. Probably can't tell because I fast forwarded that clip, but it took me a really long time to do that. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm about to start drawing the Zonkpak Toe, which is going to look a lot like Ichigo's original sword, but I've been playing a lot of Neo 2 and the Odachi, which is like a really long and big sword. I think Sephiroth from Final Fantasy 7 actually uses that if you can't picture it but that, <laughs> that joint is hard. So I definitely wanted to draw that for my character. Oh, and if you're using Photoshop, it really helps to use the pen tool to get the perfect lines and curvature to draw the blade. So I'm trying to think of a design for the little Suba slash handguard for the Zonkpak toe, but I really couldn't think of one, so I just drew a simple spherical shape and called it a day. And usually when I do draw katanas, I'll make up a design for one, but I just wasn't feeling it right there. It just, it just wasn't happening. But I do recommend you guys do it. Look up references, look up katanas, look up tsubas, that's T-S-U-B-A, or just type in Japanese handguard, it should pop up the same result. And lastly, I'm going to be drawing these little lines throughout the picture for the shading effect. Usually when drawing close-ups, Kubo tends to emphasize this around the neck area and the side of the nose. And I already said lastly, but I'm going to pop this smoke right here for a cool effect, and that should complete the line art for the body. Okay, onto the coloring. I'm not going to talk as much in this part because I mainly said everything I needed to say in the line art portion. But first things first, you're going to want to know which colors you want to use. So this is the part where you want to look up a lot of references. I recommend looking up a lot of Bleach related references. Look up Ichigo, look up Rukia, Orihime, Uryu, 
Yakuya, Renji, whatever you want to look up. <laughs> bleach related, just anything that can help, basically. Doesn't have to be Bleach. But for me, looking up Bleach related references helped a lot. For example, in the manga, Kubo tends to add highlights onto the Shiok show, while in the anime, you don't really see that at all. And you'll see in a sec, there's a portion where I'm trying to figure out whether I do want to add the highlights and whether I do not want to add the highlights. Ultimately, I decided to go in between, if that makes sense. You'll see, you'll see in a sec. On a side note, if you ever look up Kubo's colored illustrations for Bleach, which you'll find um, on Google Images or on the front covers of every Bleach volume, if you want to achieve that colored effect, you're going to need Copic markers. Unless you have some type of Copic marker Photoshop brush preset pack. And if you do have so happen to have that, let me know because I've been looking. <laughs> So I'm about to do some simple shading in the highlights, nothing too complicated. For the shading, I'll make a new layer, I'll make multiple layers actually depending on which part I'm going to shade, hair, skin, clothing, etc, etc. But I'll usually go over those parts in black and then lower the opacity depending on which part. Like the hair might be a different opacity than the clothes for example, or the skin. And for highlights, I'll do all of the above in the same way, but in the color white. And with that, you should have the full body colored. Okay, now the fun part. Okay, so in my opinion, and you may notice this if you look at a lot of his work, Kubo really thrives at drawing close-ups of the face, especially from the left side of the face. And for me, I who grew up inspired by his artwork, also love to draw from this angle. I don't know why, but it just feels more natural, it feels more free-flowing, and the end result is always more aesthetically pleasing to me. If you're left-handed, maybe the opposite would be the same. Who knows? Actually, if that's true, let me know down below. Also, you may have noticed my character is actually left-handed. That's because I'm a bit ambidextrous in real life. But in fact, I draw with my right hand and I do literally everything else with my left. And anyways, this is the line art I am proud to have come up with. And this is why I saved the headshot for last. So for the coloring, I'm coloring a little bit differently. Actually, I'm coloring the same exact way, but the method is a little different. I'm using a combination of the lasso tools, I say tools, plural, because there's more than one, and the magic wand to select individual parts of the character, such as the hair, the skin, the clothes, etc, etc, and I'm isolating them into individual layers and turning on layer transparency so I cannot color over that selected area. For example, anything colored into the skin cannot go outside of the skin, such as the hair or outside of the image. To be honest, I should have done this for the full body, but I wasn't thinking. But pretty much everything other than that is the same. And are these flat colors just aesthetically pleasing? I mean, j just look at it. I, I can't even, words can't even describe it. This right here might be better than the fully colored image. I'm just saying. Do you remember earlier when I said I wasn't going to talk as much anymore? I feel like I've talked a lot more ever since then. <laughs> and speaking of talking, let me know down below your thoughts on the return of Bleach. I was reading the manga concurrently back then when it was releasing every week, and I remember the ending being rushed and being a little lackluster, but recently I've actually gone back and reread the ending of Bleach and it actually wasn't bad at all, it actually, I actually liked it. I think they should keep the same exact ending, but I do agree because I still remember that feeling. The fights leading up to it was, well, rushed. <laughs> I could go into detail, but I don't want to spoil anything. But in my opinion, I think they should keep the ending the same and fill in a little bit more of the plot holes. That's about it. And allow me to show you the final gets go- No, I'm just playing. This is the final product, the final image, fully colored. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Alrighty, so leave a like down below if this helped you in any way possible. Um, comment down below your thoughts. Subscribe if you haven't. I greatly appreciate it. I promise there'll be more content in the near future sooner than later. I mean, I'm in quarantine, so there's nothing else to do other than draw and play video games. So I promise you more content real soon. I'm thinking about doing a part two. Maybe I'll draw a female character or I'll emphasize this drawing a bit more. Maybe um, draw as Bankai or something. But let me know other animes you want to see me do and I'll get right to that as well. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Yeah.